Hi everyone. In my last video, I demonstrated how to download LM Studio and set up a local uh, AI chatbot. Uh, so check my earlier video to see the details of how I did that. Today, we're going to try and connect uh, Obsidian, the notes-taking app, with the chatbot running locally on your own machine. So here's what we're going to do. For those of you who have already watched my video, you'll know how to start up LM Studio and how to load which particular chatbot you'd like to deal with. So in my last video, I explained how to choose the particular chatbot you want to talk to. And in this case, I'm going to use my Mistral uh, instruct version that we talked about in the earlier video. So just click on it, that'll load it into memory and it's prepared to go. So let's just check to make sure it's running. So what is the capital of how about Chile? Santiago. Very good. So we know that the chatbot is running locally on this machine. Now, the machine I have today is a Mac Mini M2 with only 8 gigabytes of memory and a 256 gigabyte SSD. So the way we're going to work to connect this chatbot now to Obsidian is we're going to click this little icon here, the two arrows. When you do that, this enables you to start up a local inference server. So you'll see that it's using port 1234, but you can change this to any port that's available. You do want to turn on all of these items, and when you're ready, start the server. The server is started. Now what we want to do is pay particular attention to the, the, the middle one of these particular URLs. The middle one, talking about completions, uh, is the one we want to copy into Obsidian. So we just need to select that and copy it. Now let's fire up Obsidian. So we have Obsidian running. So it's loading the plugins and everything is started. So this is my version of Obsidian. So the first thing you want to do the first thing you want to do is to go to community plugins and you want to turn on community plugins and then go and browse. And you want to do a search for text generator. This is the one you want. Text generator by Nuruddin Haruri. Over 209,000 installs. And it's recently updated. So it allows you to talk to GPT-3 in its basic configuration. But I'm going to show you how to change that configuration so that it's talking to your local AI. So once you've installed it and enabled it, go ahead and click on it. And this is the settings for it. So what you want to do is it'll come in default showing open AI chat. We want custom. Where it says endpoint, this is where we want to paste in that URL that we just got from LM Studio. Third thing you want to do is just click this little button right here. And this gives us the advanced mode. What we're looking for is the authorization. You want to make sure that this, make sure you put in bearer not 
needed exactly like this. You really don't need to make any other changes. Even though it's talking about GPT 3.5 and so forth, I would just leave it at, at that for the moment. Okay, so now we can close that. Let's start up a new note. And let's test to see if this, if we have a connection to our local AI chatbot. So let's just ask it a question. Let's ask it something simple. What is the capital of, how about, of France? And let's see what it gives us back. So now in order to make it communicate, we want to go over here and you'll notice that after we've gener after we've installed generate text plugin, there's a little icon here that we can use to to get it to do a search or to come up with an answer for us. So if we click that, you'll now see that it's processing and you will see this little icon going here. And it just happens that behind the scenes you can see the server working away in LM Studio. And it comes back with the capital city of France is Paris, is well-known fact and an easy question to answer if you have any other questions. So if you'd like to mute help and feel free to ask. Okay, great. So it looks like we have communication. Let's ask a more detailed question. So I just want to make sure that we're only getting the item that we want. So give me the detailed history of the Eiffel Tower. Once again, we will click this icon over here, generate text. Off it goes to process. In LM Studio, you can see it's working with the tokens and coming up with an answer for us. Sometimes this takes a few seconds, but usually it's pretty quick. So we'll go back to Obsidian, and it's still processing, but we can see in the background here it's doing things. And this looks like it's getting close to doing something. It hasn't quite finished yet, it looks like. So we're waiting for an answer here. What's going on? Usually it's a little faster than this. But as you can see, it is processing. I guess it has to think about it a bit. Usually it's a little quicker than this. But it looks like it's giving us quite a quite a bit of information that it's going to send back to us very soon. Now, as we you notice, when we asked a question, when we we're directly in the chat bot, it was a little bit quicker. Uh, now, we've asked it for a detailed history of the Eiffel Tower, so of course that's a much more involved answer. Well, we finally got our answer. Let's take a look at what we got. Located in Paris, France, one of the most iconic structures, competition, construction, Eiffel Tower's third level is completed, open to the public, initial plans to remove the Eiffel Tower. And it looks like we could have actually gotten more, but it probably ran out of room, because that was a detailed question. Well, let's try one more. I'm just going to take all of this out again. So I want to make sure that we're only getting what we're asking. I haven't exported as much as I'd like to. I've just started to play with it. And if you go, I'm going to show you a different way of doing it this time. Let's ask it a question first of all. Give me an outline Let's make it a detailed outline.
for a document explaining blogging. Okay, let's give that a try. Give a detailed outline for a document explaining blogging. Let's see what it does. But once again, we'll click the icon here since that's a little easier and see what happens. Processing, as we can tell, little icon in Obsidian. And we can see that it's working away in our local AI server and 120, 170% of the CPU. So it's working pretty hard. Okay, let's take a look back in Obsidian. What have we got? Here again. Give a detailed outline of for a document explaining blogging. The Understanding, understanding Blogging, a Comprehensive Guide, Introduction, Definition, History, Setting Up a Blog, Writing and Publishing Content, monetizing your blog. Well, as you can see, this works pretty darn well. Amazingly well. I just want to make sure that I'm going to turn off the Wi-Fi so there's no way we're going out to the web. So we'll just try this one last time. Um, Let's try him. Does that look okay? Okay, let's try it one more time. And don't forget this time we are, I have the Wi Fi off, uh, so we're not going out to the internet. We're only accessing our local AI chatbot. Let's give it a try. Processing, it's working away on LM. We can see that the server has received our request and is processing it. It's already done 100 tokens. And we have an answer. Let's take a look. So, as you can see, we have successfully started up a local AI chatbot, in this case, Mistral. Um, some other YouTube videos have shown that Mistral is probably one of the best ones to work with Obsidian. Check it out. Um, and the big, big thing to remember is when we're running an AI chatbot locally, uh, you are not having to go out to the internet you are not having to subscribe to any service, any AI service. You are not being charged for any tokens for your request or the response. And of course, it's all totally local, meaning it's private. None of your documents or information is being sent out to the web, to some other location, to some other entity. Everything is being processed on your own computer. So now, with a connection between Obsidian and the local uh, chatbot, uh, you are able to process your own local Obsidian documents. Now, what I've shown you today is just very preliminary, just to see if we had a, a connection and so on. Tune in for later videos, and um, uh, maybe we'll do some uh, more interesting things in Obsidian together with the uh, local version of the AI chatbot. Anyone, every, anyway, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this video has helped you a little bit. Uh, leave your comments. Uh, uh, let me know how things worked out for you. I hope you give it a try. This looks like pretty incredible things, and uh, I'm anxious to hear how you do. Take care. Have a great day.